BHS has at the moment got a fantastic homeware selection. I think they've called it Maison Boudoir. And they've got these little silk boudoir cushions and quilts. And they're all sort of, you know, 10 quid for a cushion, 30 quid for a quilt. Um, they've got little glass perfume bottles and candlesticks, 10 pounds, 5 pounds. Um, Debenhams, amazing cushions and Debenhams, fantastic value. So there's an awful lot out there which is good on the high street. You know, so you just have to, you kind of have to shop vertically. It's a bit like fashion shopping where you sort of mix Primark with your your little expensive thing that you buy from your little favorite designer store. You have to go up and down the scale. Um, what else can I think of? Oh, tiles. Anybody looking for tiles? Okay, tiles. I wouldn't go, I mean, you know, people always talk about places like Topps Tiles as being the cheapest. I don't think that's true. I think there's an awful lot of good marketing going on when it comes to persuading the consumer that just because they're big and they're everywhere, they're the cheapest. And people kind of persuade themselves, hmm, if they're big, they must have better buying power. So maybe that's true. It's not true. It's not true. In the way that certain, certain companies are named who permanently have a 50% kitchen sale on. No, come on, really. We weren't born yesterday. If they had a permanent sale, they wouldn't be in business, would they? Yeah. So I think you, know, you have to be very suspect of... of when being, just being told that something is the cheapest and accepting it. There is a website, however, called wallsandfloors.co.uk, which I discovered recently. They have thousands of tiles. Now, I actually wanted something quite a bit sexy. I wanted some metallic tiles, because metallics are in at the moment in interiors. They had everything. They had metal tiles, plain tiles. You just name it, these guys have got it. You know, pattern tiles. They've got ceramic, porcelain, granite, marble, whatever, everything. And they start from about um, four or five pounds a square metre. They're really cheap. I was just going to ask if they've got a warehouse you can go and have a look at the product before you buy it. They, they are online, as are many of the best bargains. Um, but you can ask for a sample to be sent to you. They really are an exceptionally helpful, friendly company. I've just bought them from them myself. I don't know why my mind has just gone to cutlery. I think I just spied that cutlery on the table. Um, cutlery is quite a tricky one, I always think. But there are two companies I would highly recommend, viners.co.uk and Glazebrook. And they're about 30% cheaper than anywhere else. Again, they're online. I mean, I must just say at this point that a lot of the best deals are online for obvious reasons. These guys don't have the overheads of the high street. But, you know, that's why they're probably going to survive this recession Unlike, I'm sure you've all noticed, you go down the high street every day, a new place is closed down, the window's empty. You know, online is, I have to say, I think, you know, it's certainly a big part of our future in the way that we shop. And there's good reason for it. It's because it is going to get you best value. In terms of um, crockery, I've got one new find, which I discovered about a month ago, which I love. It's, you'll need sat nav for this. This is in... Uh, North Acton, it's on the middle of an industrial estate. You're going to have to close your eyes as you, as you make the journey because it's, it's not great. But you get there and it's a warehouse called Jingjing. And again, it's Chinese. And all they do is white tableware. But there's a reason why white is popular. There's a reason why the white company has a multi-million pound turnover. It's because people do want white things. And all they do is white tableware you can have leaf-shaped plates, square ones, round ones. You can have cake stands. You can have cups and saucers. And again, they sort of start from one, two pounds per item. It's just great quality. It really is nice quality. And it's dirt cheap. And it's called Jing Jing. And it's fantastic. It's another very interesting phenomenon that has swept retailing in the last couple of years, which is well worth knowing about. It's a little-known fact that... When people like m and John Lewis, again, I won't be popular for saying this out loud, House of Fraser, Laura Ashley, when they have lots of excess stock, which they have even more of right now because fewer people are buying, they want to liquidate it, obviously. They want to get cash so they can buy new stock and, and move on. But they can't be seen to be selling stuff cheap all the time. So what they do is go to out-of-town retailers and form a contract with them, which is essentially... You take all this surplus to requirement stuff from us. You can sell it, current season, it's not old stock, it's current season, at half the price that you'd pay for it in our store, but you're not allowed to advertise the fact that you're doing it. 
So the problem for that retailer is they've got all this lovely stock. It's all current season. It's half the price people would pay elsewhere. Can't advertise it, which was a problem until I turned up and thought, that's really interesting. I like that. That's about people power and getting a good deal. So I started writing about it. And it, it's not because I've started writing about it, but it just so happens that the idea has taken off and they have sprung up all over the place. So right now we've got one called Trade Secret, which is based in Oxfordshire. They now have three outlets. The interesting thing is that because they need lots of space, because they get given container loads of stuff, they often put it into agricultural barns. So you literally drive into a field, park your car, go into the barn, and it's all standing there. So Trade Secret is the name that you need to remember if you live in the Oxfordshire area. Get Furnished is in Cambridgeshire. Top Secret in Cheshire. Um, who else is there? London Warehouse in London. Trade Secrets in London as well. I think, oh, Westbridge, that's down in Cardiff. And Show Home Warehouse in Northamptonshire. So there are about half a dozen of them dotted all around the country. And they're selling current season, I repeat, current season, because there is a huge difference between stuff nobody wanted 10 years ago and what's hot now. Uh, at 50% or, or more, less than you'd pay on the high street. So before you dash out and buy that leather sofa from M&S, just check, just check one of those places, see what they've got. Stock changes daily. Um, thank you very much indeed. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you.